Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the House of Worship Technology YouTube channel. I'm Matt, and I've got another episode of Church Tech Tip Tuesday for you today, where we're talking about how to make your in-ear monitors sound more realistic. One of the first things that you're gonna notice when you first switch to in-ears, or maybe you've just switched to in-ears and you're already beginning to notice, is that it doesn't sound the same as playing on stage with, with wedges and with the band being live and around you. But a lot of churches want to move to in-ear monitors because it keeps the stage volume lower without having all those extra speakers up front to add extra sound in the room. What I recommend doing is using a room microphone and blending that in only with the in-ear monitors. So what you can do is take a small diaphragm condenser. We use a really, really affordable one by Samson. Uh, you could use an SM57 for this application. Um, it really doesn't matter because the point is to just pick up what the sound sounds like in the room and also uh, to get a little bit of the crowd's voices so that you can hear the congregation singing and feel like you're still on stage in a church in a worship environment. One of the churches that I installed uh, a room microphone in for the in-ear monitors, we were able to kind of inconspicuously put the microphone kind of behind a bush and hide it a little bit. I definitely recommend doing that because you don't want to have a, some microphone on a stand, you know, kind of at the front of the church facing the crowd and everybody's going, what the heck is that for? Um, so that's just kind of more of an aesthetics thing that I would recommend is place the microphone somewhere where it's either not visible or almost not visible. To set this up is really, really easy to do. First of all, make sure that you're not sending any of this signal to your front of house mix. You really don't want to do that. That's going to create issues for you, feedback problems. You want to make sure that you're only sending the signal of the room mic to the in-ear monitors. Second thing that you want to do is you want to, you, you want to do some basic EQ just to kind of clean it up a little bit. You don't really need to send the low end of the kick drum. You don't need the bass guitar necessarily being picked up in this microphone. So the first thing that I do is start with a high pass filter up to around 100, 120 hertz. Get rid of that low end. You don't need it for this application. Second, you want to make what this microphone is picking up really, really even. So you're going to want to put some compression on it. I recommend starting with a pretty high ratio, 10 to 1 compression ratio, fast attack, fast release. You're going to want to play around with those to get them to sound right. Uh, maybe if your mixer has the setting, you could put, uh, you, you could engage the auto function on the mixer, but you want to get about 10 to 12 decibels of gain reduction just to keep it really, really even. And there you go. You're going to blend that in with the in ears too much, and it's going to sound really washy and reverby, and your musicians aren't going to like it too little, and they're not going to get the effect of the realism that this microphone provides. So, that is one way that you can make your in-ear monitors sound much more realistic is to add a room mic to the in-ear mix. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope this helps you to get a better in-ear monitor sound this Sunday in your church. If you've got any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, I'll see you next Tuesday.